So I'm just going to do a little video here, uh, a bit of an unboxing for this box of 1993 Four Sport. I'm not going to do the whole box, I'm just going to kind of give you an idea of what's inside. Uh, I picked this up pre-pandemic from a card show. I didn't pay much for it because I already have a bunch of these cards and I was trying to complete the set and I didn't even really know if I needed a whole box, so I was hesitated. So I couldn't have paid more than like 20 bucks for this. Uh, right now you can pick these up on eBay. Uh, in the last week they've been selling um, for what comes out to like a buck or two per pack. Uh, for an entire box so like like between like 36 60 something dollars for a whole box which uh isn't bad if you're just looking for something to rip uh i can't get a good average price on the cards that you can pull in here anymore um you can look them up on ebay um random singles like they don't go for much um beckett doesn't even list them anymore in their annual uh in their annual issue they pulled all the the college cards, the draft picks out of there, so I don't even know what like a uh, what the better ones go for or go for on average, um, unfortunately. But if you're just looking for something to rip, this is an affordable rip right now. Um, we'll take a look at what's in here. Like I said, it's '93 Four Sports, so you're getting a little bit of everything. Uh, it is factory sealed. I'm gonna bust this boy open real quick. You can see the wrap is still on there. This is classic. Uh, so yeah, so 93 Four Sport Draft Pick Collection. You get uh, 12 cards per pack. Um, it's a 325 card set. Uh, we have stuff like uh, it features five classic all rookie basketball team cards and five classic John R. Wooden award cards. Those, those are just like subsets, really. Uh, three limited print insert sets, tri-card, limited print and acetate. So there's some inserts, uh, over 30,000 autograph cards. So there is some autograph cards inserted. They're not easy pulls. Um, number one draft picks for from basketball, football, baseball, hockey, yada, yada, yada. So this year was the rookie year for like Chris Weber, Drew Bledsoe, Alex Rodriguez, and Alexander Daigle. Uh, anything on the front here we're noting. Yeah, more of the same stuff. So, you know, there's some acetate cards that you can get, um, but I mean, you know, some gold cards, parallel, there's a gold parallel set. Um, so, yeah, there's a bit, there's some parallels, there's some inserts, really good for 93, actually, for variety. Um, it's a big base set, 325 cards, because it is four sports. And this is what we have here. Pop out the display here. So I can see what it looks like. Boom. There you go. So it looks like. All right, so we have these packs. Like I said, there's like 12 cards per pack, 36 packs per box. So we'll rip into a few of these just to see what they look like. Let me get this out of the way for the time being. And here we go. Chris Whitney. Last time I knew he was front office for like the Wizards or something like that. Uh, these are kind of difficult to read because they do it in cursive, the, the first name. And I am not super familiar with some of these uh, players from 93 except for the basketball players and the big names in the air sports. Uh, let me see. Willie Rolfe. Todd Dunn, some hockey, Victor Kozlov, we got Rodney Rogers, let me 
does that say? Up here. Lim limited. Limited print. Huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's an LP right here. Limited print. So that's a insert. Uh, former wing. Anders Ericsson. Angelo Hamilton, never heard of him. A couple of wing guys from the wing system back in the day. Bob Wren. Uh, Drew, Drew Bledsoe, cool. That's a good football one. Uh, Josh Grant. And Terry Evans. So, yeah. So, the names I recognize, just the basketball ones, most of them. So I got a limited print, Rodney Rogers. Um, guys in the league. Drew Bledsoe, so that's cool with Drew Bledsoe. All right, so not bad for the first pack. I'll open up, open up another one here. Maybe I'll, we'll do four. We'll do four just to get a, a baseline of what kind of stuff you can get here if it's intriguing. Like I, I like these just because I'm trying to complete the set. Uh, so I just collect everything basketball, even the four sports stuff, just trying to get a, um, kind of a completist. Let's see what we have here. Andrew, Lorraine, Thomas Smith, Alan, Alan Bennis. Londa Truitt, Scott Christman, man, I'm having a hard time reading these. Let's see if I can crank up the light a little bit here. If that helps at all. Blast it! I didn't want to over, didn't want to get too much shadow here, but I can't even see these. There, that helps. Uh, Kind of. Mike, it's I say Mike geez. Mike Bales. These are difficult to read. Will Shields. Hey, Chris Weber, cool. So I got Blood Soul in the first pack, a C Web in the second pack. AC Earl. Eldon Reddick. Robert O'Neill. And Rodney Dobbard. Wow. Like I was heavy into collecting basketball cards in 93, and a lot of these guys, these draft picks, I still have not heard of. And I'm really good with basketball. All right. We'll do four here, like I said. So that's cool. I mean, it's something noteworthy in the first two, a Bledsoe like, draft pick, a C-Web draft pick. I got a uh, limited print uh, basketball, Rodney Rogers. Let's see what we got in this one. Tony Fuderick. Pardon me while I... Jeez, do I need to start getting bifocals? I'm thinking that's a Darren Kirk, Kirk, right? Not great with uh, baseball prospects. Uh, Jamal Bashburn. So this is one of the, the subsets they're talking about, the wooden subsets. Uh, John Wooden subsets. It's just part of the base set. Just a subset within the base set. That's all. It's nothing special. Um, and Andreas. Is it Andreas? These hockey names are difficult. Andre. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, Andre Trefilo. Whatever. Uh, I got Jamie Wright. Uh, Mike Plaplowski, uh, Darren Hughes, Rex Walters, Kelly Wunsch, yeah, I'm not even going to try to say that. I always make fun of people who can't pronounce the names of the guys they're pulling, but now I feel their pain. Roger Harper. 
mostly because I can't read these. Nick Van Exel, it's really hard with the the reflective of the the reflection of the foil in the really small print and the cursive. Um, but yeah, there we go. Nothing too crazy in that one. Getting sloppy over here. Uh, Darren Robinson. Chris Singleton. Brett King. Landed Truett. I pulled this one. And then this is just, this ain't nothing special. Yeah, just to join the little membership club. Oh, yeah, for only a hundred bucks, you know, that's cool. That's kind of cool. Too bad it probably expired like uh, over 25 years ago. Why didn't I ever join this when I was 13? Look at that. Uncut sheet, autograph card, Sea Web poster, limited edition 20 card set, Tonks milk cap set. Those were like, um, like pogs. Uh, your little newsletter, promo cards, t-shirt, magnet, membership card, purchasing opportunities, special autograph signing party. What? Wow, I missed out. Anyway. Who we got here? Pat Watkins. Oh, God. Can't read anything here. Yeah, never heard of him. Any, heard of him anyway. Um, Bales again. Will Shields. Oh, another C Web. Two out of the first four packs had a C Web in it. AC Earl again. Uh, I got Redick already. And O'Neill. Yeah, already seen some repeats. Yeah, but in four packs, I got two C Webs and a Drew Bledsoe and a limited print. Um, yeah, that cool. A little fun. Something. Something. Different if you don't mind getting some older stuff. But yeah, that's that's kind of interesting. Uh, I'm going to check these out and see if I can get any more info on them. But yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah I mean, like my overall impressions of these, um, they're not bad. The photography, some of these aren't great because obviously these photos are, you know, taken when they're in college. And probably a lot of these guys in high school maybe even uh, semi-pro, uh, so they don't have the best photography <laughs> available for some of these guys, especially overseas back in the early mid, yeah, early to mid-90s. Um, the writing is difficult to read. I remember even when I was a kid pulling these, having a hard time reading these because it's really thin cursive first names and a reflective gold foil, which makes it difficult to um, on the back isn't any better because they they print the same the first name in like a like a Kelly Green or Force Green almost, and it's like a gray and black background, so it just it doesn't contrast. Um, you can you can kind of at least read the last names because they're in yellow and it stands out better. Um, it does have some nice gold foil here, which was a nice touch back in the day. Um, but yeah. For the more for the the design is pretty good. It's nice and clean. Uh, big photos. It's it's kind of classy. Uh, it's it's kind of nice to get a limited print one. And there's other inserts available, but they do not they do not drop regularly. Um, out of these four packs, I only got one insert. That one limited print of Rodney Rogers. Uh, let me see if they even have odds printed here. There we go. Yeah. Now this is just about like sendaways. Yeah, it's just for a contest. It doesn't even say uh, the odds of pulling anything. Obviously, one in four packs got me an insert so far. Um, the subsets you got a nice look to them. But there's not a ton of value here, obviously, and that's reflecting the price even during the current market. One cool thing that 
comes with the box. If you flip it over, there is like a jumbo card on the back so you can like cut it out or whatever. And that's like a C-Web. So that's kind of cool. Um, it even has the foil on it too. So it's like a jumbo like uh, box topper or box bottomer in this case. But yeah. Just thought I would show that. But yeah. Yeah, so looking into last year's Beckett Annual um, and also looking up some like recent comps on ebay for sold listings of like the weber and the the blood so yeah the, the, nothing has really changed these cards are worth like a buck or so the best cards you're gonna find in the base set are worth like a buck or so so it's like nothing crazy um it, it these things really haven't gone up um not a ton of value but i mean they're ch cheap relatively cheap rip um so if you're looking for something these are not too difficult to find uh, if you like some of the older stuff it's a uh, Something you can, uh, it's an avenue you can explore right now because this stuff hasn't really blown up uh, the college stuff. So, if you're looking for the older stuff, it's out there. Um, yeah, it's all right. Like I said, if you're looking to build sets, it's a great thing to do because you can get them at an affordable price and it's good variety. And, and you know, if you like multiple sports, uh, it's an economical way to do it too. It's all condensed right there for you. You don't really see product like this anymore. Um, not a ton of four sport. If you can find like the the Goodwin games or like the Goody, Goody, however you say it, um, that's another modern thing that has a lot of variety, different sports, not just the four sport, but all kinds of stuff. Um, that uh, is floating around here and there sometimes. But yeah, eh, that's 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 what you can expect. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, check out some other videos I have. I do predominantly basketball. And it will actually exclusively basketball besides this. So go ahead and check those out if you got a chance. Thanks a lot. Bye.